Hey everyone, welcome to another L&J adventure. For those new to the channel, I'm Liam. I'm Jenny. Um, and basically we just kind of do like travel, adventure, Disney vlogs kind of thing. So far we, uh, we've only done the one vlog, we did the Orlando trip earlier this year, but we're bringing you a start of a London vlog series um, today. We're off to London today, we're shortly going to go and get the train into Waterloo. Um, and then, yeah, we've got um, a couple of nights staying in kind of like a budget hotel in Soho, it's which will the hub, I the, say. the hub hotel run by Premier Inn. We'll kind of give you a full review of that, show you what that's like. Um, we'll probably give you some pricing details as we go along as well. And then we're seeing two West End shows because as well as Disney, we also both love uh, musical theatre. Jenny got me into it. Yeah, with the um, musical theatre notes. So we'll uh, obviously show you the shows that we're going to be seeing in due course. Um, obviously, we can't like record in, in the um, theatre too much, but we'll get to show you um, a bit of the theatre. We'll show you some places nearby where we're going to eat, um, show you a bit of Covent Garden and, of course, where we're staying. And obviously, we're hoping to visit the Disney store as well. So, yeah, just join us along to start this London vlog series. It's just a little mini series. Um, and yeah, thank you for, for watching. And if you, if you do like what you see, then please like and subscribe to our channel, LJ Adventures. Like I say, we're hoping to kind of build up more and more, um, travel vlogs as, uh, as the years go on. But yeah, join us along on our mini London trip. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so. So we have just checked it, well, put our bags at the hotel we're staying at there, which is the Hub Hotel, um, run by Premier Inn. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, we are now just going to go and grab something to eat, a light lunch, aren't we? Because we're probably going to get a bigger meal somewhere yeah. nicer later. We're thinking McDonald's, not going to lie. Mono Quite basic. Monopoly's back. We just walked past all these awesome like food street stalls and we're like, kind of fancy a McDonald's just because of I the... I just want something light, you know? Something light and cheap and... Obviously, the Monopoly's back, and we, we do like McDonald's Monopoly, so uh, I think it came back like yesterday or something. So, yeah, we'll uh, show you the hotel later on when we're actually checking in properly, show you the room, etc. But for now, now, I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Cause I find my way So we got a bit of time now uh, before we can check into the hotel. We want to go to the Lego store. Just going to have a little look around some of the shops. Tomorrow is going to be more of our like shopping day. Isn't yeah. It? Um, but yeah, so we're just going to have a little round. You've got some shows around here. Book of Mormons just over there. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, you've got the Lego store, m, m World around here too. Hard Rock Cafe back there where we're hopefully going tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we'll just have a little wander around.
section. Not a cat section. Hey, you would look so cute in a little bow. I was just saying to Liam, Peggy, our dog, is about that size. We could just use that little statue to measure whether these fit over her or not. So if you've got a dog or a cat who likes M&Ms, well, you probably shouldn't yeah, be feeding them M&Ms. don't give them M&Ms! <laughs> so I like the look of these mugs. I'm very tempted. Very good. So we can't quite get over the fact that there's now a great here. Since when was there a Greg's in Leicester Square? Well, I don't think I've ever seen a Greg's in London, but there's one in Leicester Square now. It's mad. <laughs> So this is our room here at the Hub uh, by Premier Inn in Soho. Start off with the bathroom shower room here. You've got a nice, lovely sink. A few towels there, your toilet. So no bath in this room, but a decent sized shower. And then just got a hair dryer there, if anyone needs that. This is like a little bit of storage space where you can hang your clothes up, which is pretty cool. Definitely made the most of the space in this room. Yeah, definitely. And then we've got our double bed here. And just a nice bit of kind of London themed artwork above it. And then I didn't actually think we'd be getting a window with this room, but you can see these street uh, street food places just below us, which is pretty cool. And then we've got a TV there, um, and me in the mirror, get a bottle of water each, which is uh, yeah, pretty handy. So we didn't actually book breakfast, but um, I think we are going to potentially do it tomorrow. So anyone staying here, it's £7 at the moment. And that is like a breakfast buffet, so you've got your continental stuff, your cooked breakfast, and uh, Costa coffee. We were also told as well, weren't we, about um, tea and coffee. Uh, 24-7, so, complimentary, Yeah. The little restaurant. Yeah, so obviously we've not got like a um, kettle or anything in here, but like the flip side of that is that you can um, head down to the, the bar restaurant area and get free tea and coffee unlimited throughout your stay. So it's definitely cosy. Um, Definitely small, maybe obviously not ideal if you're not sharing a bed with somebody, but for a little theatre trip in London, I think it does the job really good. So this is pretty cool on the uh, the hub TV that you get in your room here as well. So if you go, uh, look at the menu, um, just thought to show this, just uh, it's a little added thing. So you've got apps on here, you've got YouTube and stuff. If you want to watch any uh, L and J adventure vlogs you know, <laughs> on your, your stay at hub hotel, uh, you've got BBC iPlayer, TV player, all that kind of thing. And then, I thought this was quite cool, you go back to home, um, you've actually got a list of films here as well, so things like No Time to Die and stuff like that. We thought, we assumed these would be paid for, and I don't think they are. So if I go down to No Time to Die, I think you can actually uh, watch these on here as well, which is pretty cool, just a little uh, added feature. So we've had a bit of time in the room. Had a um, shower. Had a Lots shower, um, got ready. We're about to leave, go and grab something to eat. We don't know where we're gonna eat yet, but we'll uh, we'll show you that. Um, and obviously, like I say, we're seeing Beauty and the Beast, uh, the musical tonight. Now, unfortunately, by the time this video comes out, uh, there's probably not much time left for Beauty and the Beast on mm. uh, West End, um, or it could be coming to its coming to its end. It's been on, how long? It's been on West End for a little while now, I think. But, I don't know, because we were supposed um, to see it. We were supposed to see cancel. it uh, earlier in the year in Cardiff, actually. Um, yeah. It was doing a kind of tour, wasn't it? And mm -hmm. now, um, But yeah, I think it's time on West End is soon coming to an end. But um, we'll show you a bit of the theatre there anyway, um, and just that kind of area. But firstly, just our thoughts on um, The Hub by Premier Inn. I think we're both pretty impressed, aren't we? Yeah, I um, like it. It was interesting. We actually watched her, a vlogger, Brogan Tate, who does a lot of Disney travel kind of vlogs and stuff, and her and her partner Benji, they went to, a fiancé Benji, they went to um, Disneyland Paris recently and they stayed yeah, in a hub hotel before. they stayed before. in a hub and we'd already and then, booked this one. And yeah. then we saw Brogan had put out a vlog series of her actually in London. And um, she and stayed, at, stayed at this exact one, which this is the hub by Premier Inn in Soho. Um, now, to give you an idea, I think it cost us about a hundred, just shy of £150 per night. So yeah. we stayed here for two nights, so about £300 in total. Now, that might sound quite steep, However, it was actually like the cheapest we could find, wasn't it? For yeah. these couple of days. These we couple of days were really. We normally stay in the Travel Lodge, don't we? Yeah, the Travel Lodge in Covent Garden is normally where we stay on these sort of theatre trips. But 
it was really pricey and a lot of them around here for some reason are just really expensive um, mm. for these few days so this was one of the cheaper options but it doesn't have i'd say a budget feel to it the room is very compact so maybe not ideal for like families or anything like that but for if you're by yourself or you're just with another person you're in a couple or whatever it is a really good a uh, really good hotel highly recommend it um i showed you like briefly a little room tour but the shower is really good good pressure yeah, you know really pressure. um the room is very clean very modern um feels quite new here i think it's i think it's nicer than the travel lodge in covent garden Definitely, we normally go to yeah. even if it's a bit smaller um like i say it's got the tv that i put in there as well um so plenty of space pretty much all you need in terms of location it's literally like a five ten minute walk from uh, like Piccadilly Circus, Leicester but Square. But it's quiet. You can't hear like traffic and yeah, cars that's... and whatnot. So yeah, that, that exactly. Is quite nice. That's what we were saying. We've got kind of some food stalls and stuff out the window, but it's actually really quiet. It's just down a little kind of alleyway almost, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Um, but really centrally located, perfect for a theatre trip because it's near so many of the theatres. Anyone unfamiliar with the West End, you find that a lot of the looking up the map up there. Yeah, <laughs> I was just looking to see if like the theatres were like. Yeah, on it's it. just above our bed here. It's pretty cool. But yeah, anyone who knows kind of West End theatre shows. You know they're quite they're kind of clumped together aren't they mm -hmm. typically and uh, this is like the theatre district so it's perfect location for that but even if you're just coming to london for like sightseeing or going to a concert or a football match or something yeah, like that decent. it's a really good little uh, little pit stop and uh, we'll show you like the the bar cafe area tomorrow morning because i think we're gonna have breakfast here which as i said i think is about seven pounds per person so just want to give you some details on the hotel the hub by premier inn is what it's called and it's located in soho but there are quite a few of them around london i don't know if they're fairly new because i hadn't heard of them before until booking this trip but mm. yeah really impressed so far we didn't choose a great few days for the weather did we no but at least i can wear my universal studios raincoat of course mm -hmm. yeah it's uh not the nicest of days i think it's supposed to be like this for a few days as well so, I think so. <laughs> we're gonna wash out london trip do you like my fit my dress <laughs> love it Just come out of the theatre. That was amazing. Yeah, that we'll was do like really, a proper review really of the room nice. where it's a bit quieter, but yeah, awesome, wow. wasn't it? You can tell so it's a amazing. Disney production. You can really tell it's a Disney production, but yeah, we're just gonna walk back to the uh, hotel now. But brilliant. So good. First impressions, absolutely brilliant. If it comes back anytime soon or it tours, go see it. Definitely go and see it. Really, really worth a watch. Brilliant. Take a cover back to our room, aren't we? Yep, we are. 
So we're back in our room now. As you saw, we just grabbed a, a cup of tea. Only downside of this hotel is they don't have tea or coffee making facilities in the room. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's a budget hotel, so they're doing, you know, things to kind of bring down the cost a bit. The room they? is but quite small. I feel like if you had like a kettle and like a tray for your mugs and whatnot, it would take up a fair amount of space. And yeah. I like how sleek and like compact the room is. Mm -hmm. So well, our room isn't too far away it's from really the lobby good to as be well. Fair. And like, so so it's there's, right. there's the option to get tea and coffee. I think it's open 24 seven, unlimited tea and coffee um, from down by the bar area. So that's what we've got. We've got our tea now. We're just about to unwind, um, de London ties and just uh, have a shower. Yeah, probably get in have bed. another shower and just yeah, yeah, get in bed and just chill. But we've uh, yeah, kind of just our thoughts on Beauty and the Beast. Unfortunately, like I say, when this vlog comes out, chances are it probably won't be on West End anymore. But it's sure to come back, or if it tours, etc. Highly recommend it. Um, I just so recommend good. any kind of Disney theatre production full stop we've seen the lion king before uh tomorrow we're hoping to see uh frozen the musical for the first time as well i've seen aladdin um, on broadway and definitely with disney productions oh my god the stage did you kind of see costumes. that similarity 100 like, obviously the lion king is a completely tonight. different vibe mm. um but i could see a lot of similarities between like the production value of aladdin mm -hmm. and beauty and the beast like it was brilliant. It was like, like the, the costume changes, amazing. the yeah. the staging was really. I'm, you know, I'm no expert, but the staging was brilliant. Um, my the one animations of my, and the way they yeah, do certain tricks. Yeah, the beast's tricks. transformation as well. Um, I don't know how. No they spoilers did it, there, but I'm sure most no, of you. Know. No, no spoilies. <laughs> no spoilies. Um, but uh, one of my favourite Disney songs of all time is "Be Our Guest." And they absolutely nailed it. Like it went on for like ten minutes. It was, it was brilliant. Amazing. I um, couldn't believe it. There's a good like little was. tap dancing and you sequence. You could tell and everyone stuff. was like. The Ga Gaston along. is done really well yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, it was really impressive. And then Beauty and the Beast was brilliant. I don't think that was a weak member of the cast as well. No, Sam Bailey sung "Beauty and the Beast" really well. Um, yeah. former X Factor winner she was brilliant as, as Mrs Potts and then don't actually know the name I think I might have got it on the on camera um, the list but who who played Belle she was absolutely I brilliant her voice her was name, amazing she's fantastic I um, know she was in Dear Evan Hansen but yeah. I can't remember her name the theatre as well London Palladium definitely worth a visit really cool theatre yeah, we got really had a brief look at some of the merch and stuff we picked up um, we picked up a programme here as you can see um, and you also got a pin didn't you um, we pin collectors uh, yeah I mean anyone who's going to go to the Disney park is probably a pin collector as well but there you go you got the Beauty and the Beast pin that we picked and up there as well because it's Disney with the authentic Mickey, Mickey bag. bag as well but yeah so we, we really enjoyed it like I said like, the staging was great the music was great um, all of the cast were brilliant. It was brilliant. a nice night out, yeah. wasn't it? We sat in the uh, Grand Circle. Is it Grand Circle? Yeah, sat in the, the Grand Circle. One, yeah. yeah. Um, it was a little bit tight for room, but all I'd say is You're if you six are... six foot, I'm five, ten, eleven, I'm quite tall. I'm not going to lie, really uncomfortable. It was seat, tight. It, was, it have... wasn't the most uncomfortable I've been in the theatre, to be I've fair. I've got joint pain and stuff anyway, so... Mm. All I'd say is if you're, if you're looking to book a West End show, any West End show, obviously the stalls will be the most expensive, typically. I don't think there's much difference in terms of view. I've sat in the stalls for shows before. I've sat in the Royal Circle, the Upper Circle, I think Grand we Circle. Had an amazing I think the view, view doesn't really matter. I think the re the reason you pay more for stalls is actually for like a bit more leg room, a little bit more space. Typically, I found yeah. when we sat in stalls, it's been a bit more comfortable in that sense. But other than that, I, I think yeah, we've. Um, we did pretty well with our seats. We like to say grand circle, so you know, by all means, if you're going to a theatre show and you, we you know think the stalls are a bit too the steep, then go well. go for the grand circle, up yeah. circle. It's you know, it's the same experience. It's just a little bit more uncomfortable, but yeah, really good experience. Um, tomorrow we're hoping to do a bit of shopping down Oxford Circus. We'll kind of see how we go. We've got a reservation at Hard Rock Cafe as well, um, so we'll just kind of see how we go tomorrow and uh, what we get up to. But thanks for watching along so far, and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. morning so we've just woken up um unfortunately there was some sad news whilst we were uh, in london yesterday of the the passing of the queen um so it's yeah quite obviously a somber mood um in london today we weren't entirely sure what was going to happen with um the show tonight we're supposed to be seeing frozen tonight and obviously shops etc as far as we're aware at the moment i think everything will be running as normal and i think it's going to be the day of the funeral where things will kind of be shut so, down more and it will kind of be of more of a state of mourning from the funeral so we'll just see what happens we'll obviously do what whatever we can um we had these things pre-booked a lot of things obviously that you know the restaurant reservation the show have been um, non-refundable etc so we're going to just go ahead as um as we would have done anyway and just um obviously see what happens but yeah very sad news yesterday obviously um but we, we yeah we have enjoyed the the room we've been in here yeah, in the it's a nice like, so we've room. got another night here as well but um slept pretty well 
I'd say I think that the two the yeah. the double bed is essentially like two single beds pushed together. I think um, we didn't mind that so much. And... No, it was alright. I I prefer like harder beds, and uh, I think this is a slightly harder bed. So for me, it was nicer. I, think I like you, an abnormally of... soft bed, so it was a little yeah. bit firm for me, but nothing ridiculous. Like I said, it's like a very standard firmness of a bed. I'm just a bit fussy, but it didn't yeah. sleep alright. But yeah, I think overall we um, yeah we got a pretty good night's sleep. Like I say, I really really recommend it. We're now going to go and find out what the breakfast is like. Like I say, you can pre-book this. We didn't because we weren't sure what we were going to be doing. Um, but apparently we can just go down and, and pay for it today. I think it's seven pounds per person. It's like a it's like a buffet. I think they've got cooked breakfast options there. They said, and as well as um, sort of continental things like muffins, pastries, etc. So um, yeah, we'll go down and that and uh, whatever we do manage to get up to today, we'll uh, we'll of course show you. So thanks for following along so far. So we just found out the uh, Disney store here it's in Oxford closed. Street is closed, day. presumably because of uh, obviously the situation with the Queen. So uh, yeah, we there are quite a few shops open down here on Oxford Street. But there are, yeah. I but... think it's at the discretion of each individual store or business or whatever. So yeah, we're just going to have a wander around and uh, see what else is about. Um, I think we're after maybe some stationery and stuff today yeah. and bits like that. So we'll, we'll have a look around and uh, yeah, see what we can find. But yeah, Disney store behind us there. Is, uh, is closed for the day. So we're just going to head over to uh, Royal Drury Lane Theatre. Theatre Royal Drury Lane. Theatre Royal Drury Lane. Lane. <laughs> uh, where we're seeing Frozen later tonight. So we're going to go and check out the. <laughs> Did you see the raindrop on my face? <laughs> that that hole came from under there. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go and have a look at the uh, theatre now. Maybe see if the shop is open. It may well not be, but um, yeah, it's supposed to be a really nice theatre, I think. Yeah.
what are we thinking? No, I've had the frozen strawberry daiquiri before, it was really good. I'm tempted. A lot of options. Yeah. Our first course. Normally we go for the buffalo wings, but we just thought it'd be different and go for the tenders. So they look really nice. Yeah, just a pound extra. But yeah, buffalo sauce again. Good. I got the fajitas and you got the classic burger. No, I got the pork sandwich um, yeah. with the cheese and bacon like loaded fries, which is really good. As always, really, really good here. Service brilliant, food brilliant, but mm -hmm. I'm stuck. I'm going to have to have a bit of a walk to Frozen yeah. to walk that off. <laughs> It is 55, but I, I kind of really want it, I'm not going to lie. 55? <laughs> yeah, because oh of God. the jewels. Christ. Love it. Ooh. They do fleece blankets. Oh, you want a fleece blanket? Free latte mug with any fleece blanket. Ooh. Lovely theatre, isn't it? Yeah, we just got a program and a pin. We couldn't help ourselves. Uh, another Mickey back. I mean, I said no to the bottle, so... And the blanket. I don't think you got much chance for the tiara. If I can't have a tiara, can I have a blanket? Maybe. <laughs>
back in the room. As you can see, <laughs> we've uh, yeah, we just walked back from um, what is it called? Theatre Royal Drury Lane or That's one. something like that. Yeah, something to that effect. Um, and where we are, as you know, the hub in Soho, that was about a fifteen-minute walk. So we were just chatting about the show and stuff, and it kind of yeah, breezed by. It's a by. relatively easy walk, pretty flat, mm -hmm. nothing too. So those Any kind of, adventures. I'm sure where, where Frozen is, it's in a theatre, like I said, the, I can't remember the name of it, Theatre Royal Drury Lane, right by Covent Garden. So if you know Covent Garden, it's literally um, right there, kind of near the Starbucks. But There's yeah, one point in um, Covent Garden, if you look, you can see Frozen, if you look to your right, I want to say, you can see The Lion King. Yes, yeah, I think sort you're right. Maybe yeah, the other way around, like but either yeah. way, you can see both at one point, which um, is quite cool. We, we've been to quite a few shows together now, and we're still kind of piecing together bits of London. Yeah. It's just so big. You know, I actually work sometimes in London, and I still don't really know it very well, but... Yeah, just kind of last few things to say on the show. Frozen was absolutely brilliant. Like, Amazing. Um, I'd really recommend seeing it. Like I say, if you've got any like little kids who are Frozen fans, it's just, it's, it's really, it's real well worth getting on um, along to. In terms of like theatre tickets and where you can get them from, we always use uh, Today Ticks. Um, so there's no kind of like ad gifted or anything in this. We just, um, well, you know, we just bought our tickets. Yeah, but, we buy um, them. But we always use Today Ticks. I think those Frozen tickets only came to about... Thirty-seven pounds each, I want to say, which yeah. is quite reasonable. When we were um, at the top, we were maybe like four or five rows from the back, but yeah. we had a really clear view of the stage. Yeah. Nothing was obscured. brilliant view. Couldn't like, I think the view was perfect, quite frankly. Yeah. And I know I said about Beauty and the Beast about oh, if you don't pay for stalls, you might not get as comfortable seats. So again, we were in the Grand Circle. The seats, seats were really were comfortable, comfortable tonight. Today. Plenty of leg room, I'd say. Yeah. I think there's as much leg room as you're going to get in a theatre, really. Yeah. Um, and if you do go, the, the theatre itself is so big and so grand it's really worth like checking out just having a little wander around so if you do go to see frozen i'd recommend getting there a little bit early and maybe yeah. have a drink at the bar or whatever but certainly just have a little wander around at least it's um a really cool theater like cute there's quite a lot of history to well. it yeah it's a cute little shop yeah definitely but we checked out earlier in the day just to make sure everything was running all okay and uh yeah it's a lovely theater really really appreciate it but um yeah as we said like samantha barks was just brilliant all of the cast were just amazing like you know we were we've seen a few understudies before but yeah. um we were quite looking forward to seeing samantha barks we were, we? We yeah. Did. um yeah she was very special but yeah brilliant performance well worth seeing make sure you try and check out frozen or any of the shows on the west end because um yeah we love our theater nights out they're just one of our favourite things to do together, yeah. aren't they? As well as try and go away to Disney when we can. Yeah, um, well, we sprinkle that in. So in terms of tomorrow, we're actually uh, meeting some friends for breakfast, so we, of course, won't be vlogging that. But um, we hope that we might be able to, before we head off, mm -hmm. um, head over to the Disney store, because they said it may be open um, tomorrow. Obviously, like They're I say, to be today open, it was closed so. following the news of the, the Queen's death. So we'll, we'll see. If, if it's open, it's open. If it's not, it's, it's not. But... Um, yeah, we're going to maybe check that out, and if we do, obviously we'll show you kind of what they've got in there, and uh, that is worth a visit as well. The Disney Store, if you're coming to London, there's a lot of stuff in there. A few we'll show floors. you what we buy because we're most yes. definitely going to buy at least something. I kind of want a mug. I mean, a, I, I want a mug. with like kind of autumn, wintry time now. I want the Mickey Mouse. I want a new King. mug. Um, face mug yeah you've got this thing about pumpkin mugs at the moment haven't you, you, want you. A pump <laughs> it is that time of year but anyway just thanks again so much for anybody who has got this far into watching um, a London vlog um, like I say we're just trialling things out on this channel some things will work some things won't but hopefully you've uh, liked what you've seen and we've been fairly informative um, but yeah thank you again for watching along so far Back to school section here, I think. Oh, this is cute. And these nuggets are actually reduced. That's only £5.60. You've got Moana, you've got Frozen up there. And then we've got so a good place for some late stationery for your kids. I like a Moana. Or for you. <laughs> Going back to uni. That is lovely, yeah. Oh, stickers! Wow. <laughs> I like stickers. Yeah, so they got 30 percent off notebooks at the moment. Pretty That's good. It's nice. You've got a lot of stitch stuff here. All on sale as well, because of like summer range kind of thing. Don't know how long this will be here for. I like that. Orange bird stuff here for those who love. Oh look, you got the 50th anniversary. And, um, the Mickey collection, the um, attraction. The main Mickey's What's main, main, the main attraction. attraction. We've got like three um, pins from that selection. I love the Mickey Premium Bar one. It's yeah, so that's cute. Pretty cute. 
We've got some more up there. Is that like a Peter Pan one? So they say Disney Parks, like the one on your back, yeah, your mm -hmm. lunch pie yeah, as well. Yeah, it's mine. There you go. So we've got pins all around here. A nice Remy one there. So down here we've got the Mickey main attraction ones again. The Toad's pretty cool. These fig pins, I've not seen them before. Goofy's 19th anniversary. That's cool. Oh, you've got another Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Quite a lot of them there. Boogie Boogie with Halloween coming up. So we both like the look of these mugs. This was my favourite mug when we were out there in Disney World and I didn't buy it for some reason so I'm tempted today. That's love the nice. like shimmer on it. I like this one here. You've got Walt and Mickey on one side and then obviously the 50th logo on the other. Yeah, it's really nice. Living in a fancy land. This one is... Christmas so stuff cute. here. Oh, I love Huey Dewey and Lewis. This is my seasonal area. Halloween Town. It's about the sketchbook collection. Yeah, we've seen that sketchbook quite a bit. Oh, look, the rose. Like Beauty and the Beast. Again, Ray's 19th anniversary. We've seen that a few times. A lot of Christmas stuff around, isn't there? Tiana's Palace. Yeah. How, how much are these kind of coming to? So, this one, Huey Dewey and Louie, is. £20. £20, that's not too bad. There's a Spider-Man one here as well. After the engagement this year. This my favourite. Minnie loved the ring, didn't she? She did love the ring, to be fair. For fans of the Mandalorian, which we've not actually seen yet, Baby Yoda there. Do you like the lift? I do like the lift. There's real characters on the, the wall here. You say that was in it? Cut the yeah. grow green to the sports. This might be the Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh basket as well. So we've got a lot of discounter stuff, we've even got some National Geographic stuff over here. And some Disney art, I think, down here as well. Jasmine there. So the damage has been done. We've just come out of the Disney store there. With um, the bag, souvenir, like Halloween bag as well. Yeah, so we've got a few things which we'll have put we'll in. We'll jump to us during a haul yeah. when we're not in London and we'll show you um, But we Yeah, that's pretty much the end of this sort of mini London series. Like yeah. I say, thank you for watching if you have been and uh, please like and subscribe if you do like what you see. Um, we're still kind of starting out as a small channel. Um, we have got a trip. We have coming. got an announcement and we're yeah. better to announce it than just outside the Disney store. We are hopefully in March next year going to Disneyland Paris for a few days. So look out for any kind of build up videos to that. Really um, excited to see the 30th star. Yeah, and of course we'll be vlogging on that as well. So more details to come on that. But um, yeah, for now, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Hi there, it's future Liam and future Jenny here. Um, we just thought we'd uh, kind of end the video by just doing kind of a mini haul of the things we bought. We didn't buy many things that interested really, did Not we? Really. But we did get a few stuff. We, we thought you'd show uh, show you what we did get anyway. So obviously, the thing one of the things you would have seen um, in the video itself was the uh, pins and programs. So these are from Frozen, the Frozen program. 
and the frozen pin there. Um, I, you were saying, I think the, the programs were about £10, were they? Something like that? I want to say the frozen program was more expensive than the Beauty and the Beast program, uh, which right, yeah. surprised me, but it was only by a couple of pounds. Only a couple of pounds exactly. difference, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then obviously, like I say, we've got the Beauty and the Beast one there, and because it's obviously a Disney production, they're both kind of the same style programs. Always think it's really cool to get a program... Um, if ever you see a show, because obviously it shows you some of the background detail of, you know, the, those performing in it. And, I just um, love to see where they all trained. Yeah, I like the stuff about the theatres as well. I find that interesting. Um, sticking with the Disney theme then, we also, we did buy a couple of mugs in the Disney store. Yeah, this um, is the one I wanted in Disney World that I didn't so, get for some reason. So, so yeah. that one's the, it was um, a 50th um, Disney mug, wasn't it? She pretty. Both, both these mugs have already been used. We're talking quite some time in the future already. Yeah, they're clean though. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is my 50th one I picked up there. And as I said in the video, you've got Walt and Mickey on the back there. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't end up getting any mugs in uh, Disney World. I think it was a fear of like transporting them back and things yeah. like that. But um, so that's what we got from the Disney store. Also, we got... Well, yeah. Well, you got a spirit, uh, spirit jersey. jersey. I think we showed it. Um, the Halloween on the back, <laughs> um, which you've worn a few times. Which, oh, um, and I got the bag as well. Yeah, there was a lot of obviously Halloween stuff when we went in. They're very seasonal we were buying in the Disney things, store. She was like, do you want the halloween bag i was like yeah how much was that again can you remember i think it was 50. yeah it was cheaper than i thought it was going to be the price said 75 and mm -hmm. then it scanned at 50 so i was quite chuffed so that's kind of all the disney stuff there and we, we did pick up a couple of candles from tk maxx we got this caramel both of these have been used as well but we used a caramel pecan one which was 6.99 which is pretty and good and a white a white pumpkin, pumpkin one, one, so again, quite autumnal. Which we have completely used. Yeah, but kind of the autumnal senses. Um, TK Maxx is a really good place, uh, or some of them are really good um, for candles. So um, yeah, we picked up a couple of them as well. And I think that was pretty much it. So like I say, we didn't get a lot, um, but we just thought we'd sh show you briefly what we did pick up. Um, and just thanks again for watching uh, watching this vlog. Um, and hopefully, um, we'll obviously be bringing you a, another Disney vlog early next year. Um, we'll probably buy a lot more in We'll probably Disney. buy a lot in, in Disneyland Paris. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Uh, even though it is a shorter trip. So I will do a video close to early next year kind of revealing all about that trip. Uh, in the meantime, just stay tuned for any kind of Florida tip videos, Disney tip videos. I'll hopefully be doing um, a look at some uh, Universal stuff as well soon. Um, but once again, thank you for watching along and uh, we'll see you later.